Therefore, let us take what is this Laplace's correction? We are talking about the speed of sound. Out of that, this Laplace's correction we are taking up. Laplace, Laplace's correction. What is the correction he has made? The concept is quite simple. He has thought of that the material medium not as an isothermal medium, as an adiabatic medium he took. So, in adiabatic medium, in adiabatic medium, we can understand straight away that temperature is a variable. Neither heat be taken by the system nor release it to the surroundings. No exchange of heat that is going to be possible, but whereas temperature is a variable. If it is isothermal material medium, temperature remains constant that is actually the major difference between these two. Now, in an adiabatic medium, adiabatic elasticity is going to be gamma times the pressure. So, what we can understand here? adiabatic elasticity of that material medium, if I take it as k, that is equivalent to gamma times p. What is this gamma now to be called? It is ratio of specific heats or specific heat capacities of the gas. In general, we can write that one as C p by C v, specific heat at constant pressure to specific heat at constant volume, that ratio we call it as gamma. Therefore, speed of sound which can be written as under root k by rho according to Newton's formula, now should be written that one as gamma p by rho simple correction in place of p, he took that one as gamma p. Taken as gamma p means once again you can understand how to get that. p v to the power gamma is equal to constant is Boyle's law when temperature is a variable. The way in which we have derived an expression for the value of k in isothermal material medium like that only differentiating this one, you can prove that k is equal to gamma p. Considering the values of gamma p and rho, they have once again estimated the velocity of sound in air at 0 degrees. This time, the velocity they have got it as 330.8 meter per second nearly. So, nearly this much of value they have got 330.8 meter per second nearly in air that to yet to 0 degree centigrade. Yet this temperature in this particular medium, the speed of sound has been calculated as 330.8 meter per second according to this formula, which of course, is very, very close to the practically obtained value of 332 meter per second. So, naturally, which concept out of Newton's formula and Laplace's equation, which is correct, which is more correct? The second one is definitely going to be correct to the core. What for? We should not consider that medium through which sound is traveling now as an isothermal medium one should consider that one to be an adiabatic medium, then you will be finding the practically obtained value is in coincidence with the theoretically calculated value for speed of sound in air at 0 degree centigrade. So, this is actually the second concept we need to remember as far as speed of sound that is concerned.